Rise and shine, my listeners. You are now tuned into my podcast, Difficult People Chronicles. I'm seriously focused, Johnny SF Johnny. Today is the end of the month special episode, Your Money Matters, Excessive Debt. Before I get into this episode, I want to address an email that came to me. Someone asked, why do I give so many scenarios? I give scenarios because my message is, I'm not going to tell you, uh, too much about how they come but one everybody knows is visions and dreams right so with dreams a lot of times dreams don't come straight and if you all are like how I used to be a person will give me a prophetic word or a prophetic message and I would just interpret it one way you know now I learned that you know the concept of dreams not coming straight so for example on Friday I dreamt about a flood Saturday, I was in the kitchen doing something. What was I doing? I was washing dishes. There was a lot of suds in the sink and the water started to back up. So the perfect word was blockage. I prayed for floods, but I, but then I should have prayed for blockage. Anyway, it, it all worked out for its good. So God comes to you with divine dreams to give you warnings. Sometimes the devil, the enemy, tries to interfere with your dreams. You understand what I'm saying? Then you get visions where the visions is on point. And I just try to give you different scenarios because everybody's, there's a lot of people going through the same things right about now in this world. It says in the Bible that many are called, but few are chosen. Matthew twenty-two fourteen. 14. There are going to be messages they're going to be prophets and then they're going to be um, false prophets. But what I'm finding is that there are a lot of people that are going through the same things right about now in this life. So I want you all to be on watch, having a watchful eye and being sober minded. So that's why I give y'all the scenarios. I give you the message from God and then I give you a scenario because just like the flood that I had in the sink, the dream was really a blockage but the end result was still an overflow of water and we need these bits of detailed messages to know how to go to God in prayer it's not just for you to listen to what I say or know what's to come it's for you to listen test the spirit and pray about it you know pray about it not to sit back and do nothing you have to pray about it Because a lot of times the enemy for some of you all is coming. Okay, so now let's get into this. Some people think having a lot of debt will increase their credit score. This belief is a misconception. Having a lot of debt can cause an accumulation of debt and create a mess in your life. Trust me. Especially if you are struggling to pay your bills on time. I remember I had a childhood friend. We no longer friends, you know. (laughs) At that time, I thought that we would be friends till infinity because I thought he was such a good guy, you know. But God has a way of exposing people. So back then, he didn't have much, meaning that he didn't have his mother and father around the way the rest of us did. Some of us did. Some of us, you know, grew up in a household of a single parent. He didn't have that. So... He would get money, however, meaning that he had people in his life that would give him money. Instead of him spending the money on what was a priority, he went and bought the newest thing on the market. He went and bought whatever hit the streets at that time. For example, he knew he had to pay. He knew that he had to buy groceries. And instead, he went and bought brand new pair of sneakers and then he thought and then he would come to my house to eat (laughs) so there was always someone to bail him out now even though we were friends he had his own clique and I had my own clique why because I just I don't know I felt some kind of way I really didn't like the people he hung around with and I'm one of those people that sometimes I keep my friends separate It's just until I feel comfortable in bringing everybody together. But what I did know is that when his friends wasn't around, it was just him and I. We would just hang out. We would go roller skating. We would do all sorts of stuff, you know, sports, athletic stuff. 
and I enjoyed that time when I noticed that he had issues with money when we were younger he would never spend it where it needed to be spent he would buy the most craziest nonsense that was expensive and then he wouldn't have food in his fridge or a bill wouldn't get paid as I started to pay attention to the people he hang with I noticed that something else was going on he would turn to the people in his clique and he would borrow money and they would do the same to him because I remember this one guy who what was it he didn't something he had to pay for I don't know if it was a school fee or something and then he turned to him for money and then my my friend at the time gave him the money it was just insane and every time something went down they would try to get me in the mix but I kept saying no like they would be like Johnny can I buy nope (laughs) and one day we were sitting down we were eating and icy and he said to me you know you cheap and I said I'm cheap he said you never want to help anybody I said it's not that I don't want to help anybody I said I didn't grow up like you and then he said well what is that supposed to mean I said what that means is is that it I my mother always taught me about paying for what is a priority first right I said and then I had a friend growing up who she basically uh said something to me that I always keep in the back of my head and I said you don't know how to handle your money and all that borrowing 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 stuff between the click that's not normal so he stopped asking me for money for that time being I say this because when I was one time sitting at a table and my grandmother was talking to someone about I just happened to be sitting there because I was off that day I said to my grandmother when that person left and then I said why does she always borrow money from other people when she has a great job like what is that so my grandmother used to say things like you're wise beyond your years and I told her my story I said I learned when I first got my first job I had a friend that I used to work with and she and I had a different type of relationship where it was authentic I felt and the reason why I highlight that is because there's something that I want to talk about later on down the line dealing with jealousy so between she and I there wasn't any jealousy between us I felt there was none from my end and her end every week we got paid yeah I think it was every week we got paid we worked for a warehouse we got paid and we would go shopping so this one particular time we went shopping in Harlem we was in the store at the counter she bought a sweater bought the same thing just in different colors if she sees something that was nice for me she would pick it up and I would give her the money if I saw something nice for her I would pick it up and give her the money and I always told her the truth even if it meant that her feelings will get hurt I will find some way to say it to her because you know you have certain friends that sit there and tell you to put on a clown outfit and tell you you look good in it but then the the underlying factor in everything is jealousy like they just don't want you to have it and they don't want to tell you that you look crazy in it so I will always tell her the truth anyway that day I went to go put the hoodie on the counter and then I checked my pockets and I realized I didn't have enough so I went to go put it back and she said why are you putting it back and she got annoyed and I said because I don't have enough and she just looked at me she said we get paid every week you only have one bill and you walk to work she said what did you do with your money she said and you put money up right you save because we talked about that and I said yeah and at the time we were both taking courses because we were going to go to college for accounting at the time and I said yeah I do so then she said well what happened and I was kind of afraid to say because I know that it was gonna start an argument or something and then I just told her I said well somebody borrowed money from me and they didn't pay me back yet and she said who is it and when she mentioned the person I said yes and she said you gotta stop loaning her money she said because she knows when you get paid she's asking you for money you're younger than her she has a job 
Why is she borrowing money from you? She needs to learn how to manage her money better than that. And then she said, does your mother know that she's borrowing money from you? And then I said, no. And she said, next time she come to you for money, tell her no. She said, because she's going to have to learn how to manage her money or else she's going to always be in debt. So when I got older, like older than that, past the, the relationship with that guy and everything else, I remember saying to my grandmother that the relationships I've had in the past, very rarely do I loan people money, you know. And the reason being is, I said to my grandmother, I treat it as if it's an investment or gambling. You only invest what you're willing to lose. And in gambling, you only gamble what you're willing to lose. So if you lose, you you just can't get bent out of shape. You still in a safe zone. That's the way I treat situations. If there's something out there and you know you want to buy something, you go into these stores now and every store have their own credit card. So they're like, oh, purchase purchase this and get a credit card with 0% such and such and such and all this other mess. And you get the card and you buy. At some point in time, you're going to have to pay for what you bought. It's just on hold on the card. It's just on hold. Like that fee is on hold until a specific date and then interest accrues and eventually you got to pay. There's some people out there that get these cards and then what they do is they just keep buying, buying, buying and eventually they can't pay because it becomes too much. And when I say they can't pay, the bill is so enormous that they can't eat and live. You have to say no to what's not a priority. It's okay. If it's not a priority, you don't need it right now. I know sometimes you like to treat yourself, and that's cool. But learn to treat yourself on a lesser scale. I'm going to give you an example. I have a tendency sometimes to, I don't know, sometimes I I feel some kind of way. Like, I'm not depressed. I'm not sad. I just feel to be outside, and I just want to be out and about. You know, just go shopping. I just want to. No particular reason. So, yesterday, no, sorry, two days ago, I went to the store, and I said, I need a basket. I want a basket to put in my room on this shelf and in this basket it's going to have my Bible, my books and my pens and all this other stuff because a lot of times I carry all these things in the living room and then I just sit down and read sometimes or whatever. So holding them in my hand becomes a bit much. So I went to this store to look for a basket. When I got there, I saw a crate. I was like, that's cool, but it's not cute enough. I don't like it. Because whatever I get, I want to get it to be decorative that it would go with the decor in my room. And then I thought about it. And something said, why are you going to go buy something new when you have something old in your storage? And then I said, bingo. So I no longer decided to go shopping for a basket because I already have one. And it's huge. Yeah. You just got to learn how to manage your money better. You got to learn to do it what you have until you can get. You ever know that saying that parents used to say to you or someone older than you used to say, do with what you have until you can get? You have to because if you have an excessive amount of debt, you're not going to be able to live. So that's it for today. For one-on-one sessions, hit me up. For suggested topics, email me, sfj.peace at gmail.com. Check out my store. Check me out on YouTube. Like, subscribe, click the notification button. And look out for my download that's coming up in a few months, um, Your Money Matters. It's going to have a lot of tips and topics about how to manage your money and certain things to look for when making purchases or dealing with loans. Yeah, later.